Good morning. To start this video, we are gonna do one last pull in the Gen 1 before we start this build. Right quick, let's do it. to do a full sand on it with the two-step on stocks but good morning everybody drake bill here with another video today we're actually pulling the engine in the gen one now we do have this engine sold uh, another one of my customers with a gen 150 actually uh, not hydro lock sorry he seized his engine of oil starvation so we're gonna sell him this engine and then i'm gonna buy my engine parts to build mine some people were telling me like how to build the car. Like, oh dude, do a CJ and some comp stage three and A cams and this and that. Like, bro, okay, I'm not going basic copy and paste with everybody else what they do. I'm doing things a little bit different here. For this car, I'm doing a gen three block, forged rods and pistons, forged crank, doing my gen two built ported heads with oversized titanium valves and heavier weight springs and retainers. Um, I'm doing custom cams. We're also gonna rev to 10,000 RPM, doing a holy high ram, long tube headers and then we are going to do a 150 shot of nitrous so i have my one one i have my na setup and i have the nitrous setup that's what we're doing with this car this damn is how, much, this is how much are we spending on the build let me see that All this. let me see that you said we don't got motion <sighs> thank you so thank you and like i've said before the car is still stock it has it has a ben calamar stage one trans it has a built spool rear end 390 gears and it has upgraded axles as well as a clutch and shifter but as far as power that thing is stock so we are literally going full sand right from the jump i didn't want to do a bolt-on and tune setup i didn't want to do like full bolts on e cams whatever i just want to go like go big or go home as you saw i already got the bellix for the car i also just ordered my front tbm brakes we got the homies here with us today to help us pull the engine oh, fuck. now i don't want to pull the engine by myself so we got everybody here to help shout out before you go in on me my shop is a mess if you guys didn't know i own a shop but it is a huge huge mess right now uh, just been super busy and uh, yeah, you're just gonna have to deal with the mess with me as well. I'll clean up. Don't worry. I haven't had a day off in probably two months. And so I've been here till like 9 p.m. every night. Oh, <laughs> What's up? Why do you have literally probably $500,000 of toolbox? You can never have enough toolboxes, bro. I have this toolbox set up for this lift. This toolbox set up for just middle ground work. This toolbox is my porting table. And then that toolbox is for this lift. And then that toolbox is for that bay. You can never have too many boxes, man. Look at some of the fun stuff I get to work on. A pro-charged Gen 3 six-speed manual car. This one just got oil pump gears and crank sprocket installed so you can handle some big boy power. Let's get it moved out, get a little sound clip. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna pop the hood on the Gen 1. I'm gonna let the engine cool down a little bit. This way, when I drain all my fluids and stuff, it's not so hot. And please, like I said, ignore the mess. I need to clean my shop really bad. I've just been super fucking busy. I'm talking about like seven days a week for the last two months. I haven't had a day off or time to clean. Ah, look at the Gen 1 in all of its glory. I also have the carbon fiber hood, trunk, and spoiler coming in probably like an hour or two so be looking forward to that i'm not going to put on the hood right away i'm actually going to take the hood off it'll be a lot easier to work on the car without the hood on i figured taking this engine out should only take me about two or three hours now that i have my homies here to help me so it shouldn't be hard at all we basically drop the subframe with the trans and engine on it and then lift the car off of it super fucking simple really easy and there we go we cleaned up real quick throw all the trash and everything picked everything up up the floor Got the toolboxes kind of organized, kind of. Not bad, if I say so myself. Check out the Bellix, brother. I got the right size tires for them. If you follow me on Instagram, at DrakeBolt, you would have seen these on the car. And our carbon fiber just showed up. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. A1 Carbon, the carbon fiber plug. If you like your carbon fiber apparel for your cars, hood, trunk, fenders, doors, wide body kits, whatever you want, he has it a1 underscore carbon underscore like look there's even carbon fiber doors on this car doors quarter panels fenders i think we have some on the bumper maybe oh no just regular satin black wrap up top and we're getting ready to pull this thing in the shop it's been about two hours i let it sit and cool down a little bit while we cleaned up the shop because it was a fucking mess 
but now it looks amazing and i got my girl ice spice up top i can't wait to blow her back out tonight here's the first piece of the puzzle carbon fiber gt500 spoiler next piece of the puzzle stock style carbon fiber trunk also here is my gen 2 the one everybody's been asking me about i still have it it's still in pieces and i'm going to take it more apart because we are going to take it to the fab shop here soon and drake but we trust here's my nitrous bottle for the gen 1 because i will be doing some spray that's going to be fun also make sure you always light right next to the nitrous always and here we have the hood i want to see this in the daylight okay i haven't seen it yet go ahead and pull it back Ooh, baby a triple and this is a three inch cowl hood right yeah. three inch anderson composites carbon fiber cowl hood oh my lord this thing's gonna have a huge glow up it's gonna look really good with the bellix and the front runners my lord all the carbon pieces hood trunk and spoiler we're gonna throw it on the car first because i want to see it full weight while it's sagging and sitting at ride height with the carbon pieces on there because once you pull out the engine the front end raises real high it'll look goofy i want to see it with everything on it we'll do the hood first here is the hood that was on the car do a, i'm gonna do a kickflip oh we gotta pull off go ahead go ahead yeah, I think it's pretty stout. It's pretty stout. <laughs> okay, 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 damn. <laughs> Put your helmet on. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Put your helmets on. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, let's get this hood latch off. And just like that, the hood is on. Already much, much, much better. Much better. I need to get a new frumper as well because this one's all fucked up. Ignore the little Caesars in there, but the trunk is now on. I have to cut out this hole here to put on this deck lid. Pulling it off, it was all on my sticky tape. I bent it too much and I fucking cracked it here. And here but i think if i fill it in with nail polish it'll be just fine like clear nail polish or something if not then i'll just put a new one on so let's chop out the center hole we'll put on the deck lid the light and then the spoiler all right got the trunk and spoiler on now and just look at that still gotta wipe it down i'm still gonna polish and ceramic coat it as well but this is what it looks like so good with the euros all we have left to do is the little deck lid panel and that's it check out the wire management on the bottom draw the hole here here and two holes here this antenna normally sits on the outside of the trunk but we double sided sticky tape it here draw the hole for the harness to run through and that's pretty much it the trunk is done all i have to do now i think i'm just going to trim a little bit of the tail light here because it hits that little deck lid thing i might just trim the deck lid itself and then uh we'll be good to go Oh shit! Oh shit! One, two, three. Oh! oh. <laughs> Let's see. Oh shit! Dude, it's holding up good. It's holding up good. Whoever made this, shout out to you. True fiber. Take a piss on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get her clean, bro. Get her clean for the new buyer. <laughs> and there it is in full effect. I do have to fix. The little cracks I made, but nail polish will help wet sand and polish it out too because it is a little sun faded. Probably to clear it. I am going to polish out all the carbon and ceramic coat it all to give it that extra pizzazz. Let's pull it out in the sunlight and see how it looks. Well, there she is in full effect. We threw on the Bellix just so we could see how it looks like. Don't 
it, just ignore the bumper. I'm getting a new bumper, repainting it, getting new fenders as well. I don't know if I'm gonna do carbon fiber fenders. I might just do stock ones and paint it the same color because the stock ones are lighter. Might do carbon fiber size girts. The bell licks are on, and here is the trunk and spoiler setup. Fitment is just OP. It looks so good and thick, thick ass boy. I just want to see you outside in the sun before we actually pull this motor out. We haven't even touched the motor at all, so it still runs and everything. We just got to finish it up. But goddamn, son, she looking thick. Sheesh. She is now on the lift. We are gonna get started on pulling this motor main. We now have everything pretty much pulled off up top. We take the harness down with the engine and trans, just disconnected from the ECU, all the grounds, especially one bike by the firewall. Now we're gonna take off the brake lines for the front, as well as disconnect the drive shaft, and then it's pretty much ready to drop out. I think we've been going at it for like 30 minutes, and we're probably another 30 minutes for this engine to come out, so an hour to get this engine pulled, super easy. Power is a genius. The brakes were pulled off and he was like, oh, 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 let me cook. So we were able to put on the front runners. Dude, that looks so sick. My TBMs actually just got shipped. I ordered these single piston TBM brakes um, as well as the steel braided clutch line, or sorry, brake line. And then my lugs for these and the rears are also shipped today. So I should be getting those here soon. And then we can throw these on officially. And then I think tomorrow I'm gonna order my TBM rears, my drive shaft, K member, and then probably the block rods, pistons, crank. I'm probably gonna get that stuff tomorrow. Don't listen to them. Drive shaft is about to come out right now. Have the back pulled off, about to pull off the front. And then that's pretty much it. We can lower the car down onto some stands and lift the body off of the engine, trans and K member. All we gotta do is unbolt these guys, those guys, and then these front ones up here. And here comes the engine. Go ahead, let it rest. Go ahead, let it rest, Rafa. Let it lay back. This way, Rafa. Rafa, look at me. Rafa, this way. This way, Rafa. Go ahead, let it go. Let it go. Go ahead. And the car goes up. What the hell's on my phone? So easy to pull these engines out. Piece of cake. Then we're basically gonna pull the trans off first and then the engine off, put the camera back in and bolt it up. This way we can still roll around the car in and out of my shop. And I told you guys, stock headers with stock cats. It had a cat delete once before and they did a horrible job. Damn, they did a horrible job welding that shit back together. But cats were back on. They've been on the entire time I've owned those car. We're not rocking those. Ladies and gents, here we are. We pulled, obviously, the engine and trans off of the car, took off the stock headers and everything, took off my timing cover because I need to keep that as well as valve covers. All the shit that I'm keeping is here, my harness, drive shaft, the trans is over here and shifter. I'm selling this guy the complete long block, um, including the clutch. Only thing I'm keeping is my little spacer here for the bell housing, my crank sensor, um, all my other sensors off the head, Pretty much all the sensors on here, I'm keeping my, like I said, timing cover and valve covers because I need those for my car. And then uh, I'm gonna just let them keep this. I'm gonna get a new one. I'll just get a new oil pan as well. I do need to get another Gen 1 oil pan. I gotta pull these guys off too, but that's pretty much it. Super simple. Now we gotta put this back up and in the car so we can roll it around in and out. And that's pretty much it. And here we are with the K member back in the car, steering shaft back up and mounted. And this is basically how it's gonna sit probably for the next month, maybe two months max. I'm trying to get this done at some point in May so I could be driving it on my birthday, which is May 26th, but we'll see. This is how she looks. All naked. Wow. You said in more than two months. I was like, that's what I said. <laughs> Don't listen to that guy. But now we're basically just gonna put the car up in the air, Jesus. Now we're gonna put the car back up in the air with ice spice so they hang out for the night, get it on or something, you know? And then pull my brother's car in. He had some weird ass limp mode shit going on. So he's gonna leave it for me to fix. I love that for me. But that is going to conclude today's video. Super easy day, carbon fiber install, pulling an engine, 
easy shit. Let's get on with the day. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.